How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tutorial. So as you may have seen from the opening video, another request I've been getting lately, recently, is how do you do flips and things? So I decided to go ahead and try to tackle it this week. And what we have here is our scene set up to lead into our flip. Uh, this is just one way I decided to try it where the guy, as you can see here, he runs. This is just using the, the, the default, you know, pre-made run cycle. He's going to run up and kind of do like a gymnast thing. And you can see on the camera here. Basically right there is where he's going to jump. And we're going to try to lead into it from the run here. Um, so one thing I want to do, as you can see here, I have the folder set up. And this is how you're going to want it. If you watch any of my tutorials, then you're aware of the folder setup I do. Um, and what I have it is the folder position at his waist. Which is basically uh, with the human, I have him down 12 points on the Z and uh, thus I have to raise the folder up so that his feet are where they would be uh, on the zero level. Anyway, you guys probably already know all that stuff. So uh, what we're going to do here is, as you can see, I had to use two different keyframes, one for our folder to move the character, as you might expect, and then one for the, the actual character himself so we can make the automatic run cycle. But at this point here, what I want to do is have him kind of do a slight hop before he goes down into the jump. So right here, we're, we're, we're going to use the keyframes from the automatic run cycle to help us time this. Once again, if, you, if you're doing it where he's running, then, you know, it depends on how you're doing the run cycle and whatnot. But this is just how I'm going to do it to show you guys. So this may not be like a verbatim follow the tutorial tutorial this should just show you an idea of how to do it anyway what we're going to do is actually animate the character because we need the folder to just stay with him going and uh, we can animate the character independently which makes this a little bit easier or hopefully it will i haven't practiced this anyway so what we're going to do is create this keyframe here on the last of the uh the run cycle keyframes and then we're going to go about midways and raise them up slightly let's just say maybe Maybe about three, so let's make this negative nine. And what he'll do, boop, is he does that little bit of a hop at the end. So what we're gonna try to do is see how to make that flow into the dang old run cycle that we want. So what I'm gonna do is have his legs kind of come up here. Let's have uh, this one maybe bend some more. And this one is going to start bending and maybe coming forward a bit. Let's see what that looks like. All right. And then at this point, what we want, we're just going to leave that as is for now. Uh, at this point, we want him to land and come down on his, uh, on, his, on his knees or whatever you want to call it. Not necessarily come down on his knees, but you'll see. <laughs> we'll get there. We want his legs to bend because he's going into a jump. So what we're gonna do is have him land and let's just say we're gonna have the body come forward. He's gonna kind of be bending with the body and we need his legs to bend. So we're gonna come down like this. Around 90 degrees should be fine. And so this looks kind of ridiculous here. Um, but what we want to do is actually rotate him. And as you can see, since we're using the folder method that comes forward real nice like so as you can see when this happens though he kind of goes out of whack so we want to mark where his feet are and bring them down to that position so let's go ahead and see if we can get this to line up it would go pretty much where his feet left off it will be this line right here yeah we're pretty close on there let's raise him up just a bit something like that and you know you could spread his legs out more like make it more realistic things like that we'll just go ahead and do it just just a tad maybe because uh it's kind of a rigid position that he's in otherwise and let's go ahead and bring this forward because he's he's gonna try to you know jump he needs a lot of force going into it so it's gonna look a little weird here but he does this little hop and then he lands and then he goes down into that so what we may want 
is to try and smooth this out a bit because the way he lands right there is a little bit wonky. So let's go ahead to his arms. And when you usually when you're going into a um, a jump, your arms might be kind of coming up a bit. So let's just kind of have these flail a little bit. We'll go ahead and bring this one forward and flail it just a tad. And so he comes out and his arms are going out. And then here we want to continue that. So let's go ahead and delete these keyframes and we're going to copy paste these over. And uh, what we're going to do here is actually bring them in a bit more. So that, that way it's not just a frozen position. And it looks a little bit more realistic because he's kind of landing and, and whatnot. Um, and what we want to do is instead of him going like straight legged, he's we want to keep his legs kind of bent continue, like in a continued manner. So we're going to go ahead and do like this. So basically what I'm trying to achieve here is when he lands, you want it to kind of be a continuation. As you can see here, instead of his legs going straight, they stay bent. And when he lands, it, it continues to go down. So it's kind of like that. We got to fix this, of course, but that's what we want. Uh, and what we want to do is we got to find a way to make sure that he doesn't, we don't mess up our run cycle here by adjusting the folder because obviously the, the feet are not going exactly where they're supposed to go here. So what we need to do is try to adjust that. We're going to move this one up like this let's see right about where it lands a little bit further out we wanted to go about one more pixel on the ground texture there all right and as you can see that's a pretty rigid movement it's not too bad you need some movement on his his upper torso there it needs to kind of come forward more what we want to do is like when he hits the ground we want them to kind of come forward a bit and then back out to this position because that momentum would kind of have your body wanting to continue forward. So we're gonna go down like this and we're gonna have the head kind of come forward a little bit and see what that looks like. So as you can see, that kind of uh, gives it that motion. That's going really fast. We wanna sort out the timing there, but it's basically what you want. All right, so uh, the, basically the trick that I used here is I moved up, I got rid of those other keyframes and I moved up the body and head one. Uh, and it kind of gives them that slight look that we want. And uh, what we're going to do is create a new keyframe here and have this come forward a bit more. Let's bring it up to say 95 and see what that looks like. It's not that bad. Uh, we're not going to worry about tweaking it too perfectly here. Hopefully the uh, beginning video will look a little better if I have some more time to tweak this. But that's basically how you would go about doing it. This is just, you know, this is just showing how to run up and do it. So we're going to try to just focus on the flippy do. So he does this and then you want him to basically lunge up. And the way we're going to do that is have him go straight from this position relatively quickly. We're going to try about five keyframes. Um, and have him go straight up into the position that we need. All right, guys, so what we have here is all of the, uh, the keyframes are at a position now where they're being straightened out. And as you can see, he basically just straightens out and uh, goes into the ground. So what we're going to do, first of all, I want to go ahead and fix his arms. Let's go ahead and straighten them out. Like, let's just say he's going to jump and kind of straighten his arms out a bit and we're going to take this and raise him up and maybe he'll go a little bit forward like that something like that let's see what that looks like so he goes down and then juts up and goes forward okay need to go a little bit more forward there <laughs> doing so as you can see he kind of like jumps and then you have this motion here but the problem is uh you know this it happens pretty quickly how we want to but the thing is he's not really straightening out as quickly as you want you kind of want his legs to be straightening out before he even leaves the ground more or less 
So we're going to try to see if we can remedy that with our keyframes here. So first of all, we want his legs to straighten out here. We're going to have to go to our body, maybe rotate it a bit. Yeah, something like that. We want him to kind of, you know, push off in a realistic way. So if we jump and then maybe we'll have his body kind of arc, arc back like this. We'll raise it up just a tad. Some of these positions are a little bit wonky due to the way we have our character rotated, but uh, this should help us out just a bit to just kind of finagle with these things. Uh, let's bring that back. All right, so he's kind of going up into that position. And then at this point, we want him to continue uh, flying through the air and do his flip and uh, whatnot. So let's have him do that, and we will see how that goes. So we're going to basically just have him rotate. We're going to do one single front flip. We're gonna, that's going to make it negative 360. So as you can see there, he does the flip, but that doesn't look too impressive now, does it? So let's go ahead and make a keyframe for our legs here. And we want the legs to become bent and brought to the chest, probably around the same time as each other. And we want the, the arms to do similarly. Kind of want the arms to cross over something like this into the body, something like that. And we also want the head to tuck. So we're gonna do this. And so he does that. And what we wanna do is go ahead and bring this out. We're gonna take, take him and have him come over here and be at the landing height that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna take this, just so we can make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And all of this is correct. And we wanna straighten out the legs here, just like so. All right, so we have this going on and he moves over and he does that. So right about halfway, we want to bring our folder up to continue the jump. Something like that. All right, and we want to uh, keep the legs and the arms and everything tucked. So we're gonna copy these keyframes paste them and have them kind of start to, to come back out as he's landing something like that so he does that we also may want to have our body tuck as well so let's go ahead and do that and let's have him bend like so all right so we've got that and it comes up and then back down so let's say this looks like maybe it goes a little bit too far. Let's drag it back just a tad. Something like that. And one thing I'm not happy with here is this weird little, like <laughs> the way he rises up there. All right, guys. So what we've got here is basically the, the overall flip. He comes in, he flips and he lands, and what I have is the uh, the body has a slight rotation to it. It, it goes from 360 to 361, and then back to 360 to kind of give this slight impression of a, uh, you know, the momentum that we're always after. So I've done that with the overall controller, and I'm just gonna mimic it a little bit with our, oops, with our body. Let's have that happen, maybe about three points, two points for the uh, bend, I'm gonna go up, let's just say three points for the head, and uh, 
Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look too terrible. And, you know, this, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, really, the quality of the flip may also depend on where you parent the folder to, like how you line it up with the character. As you can see, I just kind of have it perfectly aligned with his bum. It may be better if you rose it up a little bit and kind of had it at his very center of mass, like in his torso. Um, but the way this looks, it's not too bad. Uh, what you could possibly do if you really want to kind of iron it out a bit is actually make it a little quicker. We'll see what that looks like. It's not too bad. And then we'll take this. Let's move it in just a tad. Not too bad. It's a little rough. There we go. I think that's a pretty decent timing there. So that's pretty much how to do a flip. Uh, you guys asked how to do like backflips as well. I don't really know if I need to show that. If you guys want me to do a separate tutorial for backflips, uh, then, you know, maybe we'll use the experience from this one that we gained. I'm going to be honest, uh, if it wasn't obvious, this was the first time I've had to, I've tried to do this myself. I haven't even practiced it before this tutorial. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit rough, but, uh, Anyway, I think the principles here could apply very easily to a backflip. If you guys want me to sh try to show that, then I will. Otherwise, hopefully this helps you out as it is. And uh, this is what we got. So uh, it's, it's a little rough. It's, it's not the best. It could be definitely be improved, but it's definitely a flip. Boom, just like that. Sticks the landing, man. 10 out of 10. He's, he's going to be an Olympian. All right, so that's it. And if you notice in the opening video, hopefully, if I, if I do it well, uh, there's going to there's some slow-mo in there. And that's another thing you guys have been asking. How do you do slow-mo? How do you do slow motion? Well, I'm going to cover that next week. All right, so stay tuned. In any case, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends and your family and your pets. And I will see you in the next video.